Hello there. We have some important changes to our health plan coming soon. This video will help you understand why we are making these changes and how they will help all of us going forward. To do that, we'd like to spend a little time talking about how our health plan works, where our health plan is today, how we got here, and where we are headed. Our health plan provides you and your family comprehensive health benefits, medical and hospital, prescription, dental, vision, annual physicals, hearing aids, loss of time and death benefits. Over the past 15 years, the Board of Trustees and the Fund Office have successfully maintained and even expanded many of our benefits without increasing your costs. But our success hasn't come easy. Over the years, we've adopted a strategic approach to providing benefits, and it's helped save the Fund money. Because of our careful approach to managing the plan, the fund's reserves have increased. Reserves are basically the money we have in the bank to pay out claims. In 2004, we only had about one and a half months of reserves. Today, we have approximately 16 months of reserves. But that's still not enough. Things can change quickly, especially in the world of healthcare. Rising medical and prescription drug costs, stock market fluctuations, and ongoing healthcare legislative reforms have had and will continue to have a negative impact on the plan. But despite this, we have been able to provide comprehensive benefits to you and your family without making major changes to your co-pays, retiree premiums, and retiree eligibility requirements. In fact, the last time we made major changes was 15 years ago. Back then, we established retiree premiums, and the premium amounts haven't changed since. We also haven't increased your copay since we partnered with Empire 15 years ago. Can you think of anything else that costs the same today as it did 15 years ago? However, the cost of providing benefits is starting to dip into our reserves. That's why we're making benefit changes to the plan, increasing copays, increasing retiree premiums, and changing the retiree eligibility requirements. All retiree premiums will increase on June 1, 2019. These premiums have not changed since 2005. At the same time, the costs of PPO medical care, like the funds for actives and retirees under 65 in the U.S., have gone up by an average of 7.9% each year. For this reason alone, we need to increase the premiums. The new premium rates apply to basic, Medicare, and PPO retirees. Copays will also change on July 1, 2019. The new copay structure offers incentives to use your primary care provider, which is typically your best and least expensive option. And retiree eligibility requirements will change on January 1, 2020. The criteria is changing to account for increases in life expectancies, high pre-Medicare costs, and legislative regulations which have expanded coverage requirements. These changes will ensure that we have enough money in our reserves to pay benefits. If we don't act now to shore up the plan's finances, our benefits may not be around for future generations of Local 94 members. These benefit changes, along with other cost-saving initiatives the Fund has implemented over the years, are part of the Fund's long-term strategy to keep the plan on a solid foundation. With these changes and your help, we can keep the Fund strong for years. Thanks for watching, and thanks for taking time to learn about where we are and where we are headed. Visit www.local94.com for more information, or call the fund office at 212-541-9880.